Yes, the Oscar winning Colin Firth. Colin Firth, you're good at picking winners, aren't you? Oh, I, I don't think you've seen my entire back catalogue. <laughs> But, I mean, the hype around this film, it's already, it, it's cranking up to such a pace. I bet even the stars of the film can't quite believe it. Yes, I mean, the word hype always makes one a little nervous because it implies that it, uh, you know, it, it, it can't live up to it. But it, I, it, the buzz has come from the people who've seen it and uh, I think it, it took us all by surprise. It's, uh, uh, it's a hell of a challenge to adapt a book like this. It's very dense very complicated uh, you know you could you could choose a lot of different strands to follow and I think it's a it's a, a masterful piece of distillation so I, I I'm, I'm surprised that so many people have responded so well I th personally think it's a beautiful film and with the very little screen time I've got I think I'm in a position to be able to say that without it sounded like special pleading and people's got a surprisingly long memory for things like this. A lot of people talk, still talk about the TV series. Do you mm. think those fans would be satisfied, and particularly with Gary Oldman? Oh, yes. With Gary, without question. I think that judging by the responses we've had already, the answer can only be yes, because we've, we've come across a lot of people who've seen the series. And, of course, if you're 25, you weren't born. Um, and so I think you can't argue with the fact that there's a new generation who I think will come fresh to it. And, and I think the film has a, you know, it, it, it has a, a wonderful mystique to it. So I, I think, it, uh, I, I think it, it doesn't depend on any old recollections. And what is it about spies? Why are we still so fascinated in the Cold War? Why do we love Bond so much? It's not just Cold War, is it? I mean, Bond isn't just Cold War. I think it's anything that is to do with secrecy and high stakes and danger and heroism and uh, a lot of threat and uncertainty. It's, it's bound to have a certain glamour to it. And finally, do you think Gary Oldman and the film in general can emulate the success that you had last year with The King's Speech? Oh, I would hope so. I absolutely think it's got everything it takes, yeah.